Good morning, Zion, and friends listening in for Zion. <clears throat> it is Monday again. I'm so happy to see you here. My voice is on a slow return. Best it's been in a month, so we should probably get started before it disappears again. Today is Monday, November 13th. It's the uh, the Monday after the 24th Sunday after Pentecost. And if our numbers are getting that high, we must be getting ready to change soon to a different season. Can't wait. This is morning prayer, right one, um, right two. You can find it on your Book of Common Prayer and um, on page 80. Today's psalm is Psalm 80. And I will give you the reading when we get that far. <clears throat> All right, won't you join me? Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. <clears throat> Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bowl of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast out the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it. It took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, and the towering cedar trees by its boughs. You stretched out its tendrils to the sea and its branches to the river. Why have you broken down its wall so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the forest has ravaged it. The beasts of the field have grazed upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven. Behold the and tend this vine. Preserve what your right hand has planted. They burn it with fire like rubbish. At the rebuke of your countenance, let them perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand and the son of man that you have made so strong for yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord, God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his splendor. He called out with a mighty voice, Fallen! Fallen is Babylon the Great! It has become a dwelling place of demons, Demons, a haunt of every foul spirit, a haunt of every foul bird, a haunt of every foul and hateful beast. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxury. <clears throat> then I heard... <clears throat> Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you do not take part in her sins, so that you do not share in her plagues. For her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. 
render to her as she herself has rendered, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double draft for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, so give her a like measure of torment and grief. Since in her heart she says, I rule as a queen, I am no widow, and I will never see grief. Therefore her plagues will come in a single day, pestilence and mourning and famine, and she will be burned with fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing praises for the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time and with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing. 
through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for praying alongside me this morning, friends. Have a wonderful week.